All right, y'all, new week of dinner videos. So tonight we're having fancy mac and cheese, which you can tell I left it in just a hair too long, but it's fine. So that's what it looks like. Basically, it's just white cheddar uh, cheese that I make into it. it. Well, first I make a roux and then I uh, add the cheese to make a sauce out of it. I add some spinach and then some um, ham that I cube and cook prior with just some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I mix it with some noodles and add a um, it's a breadcrumb like butter topping on top. It's super awesome and it's definitely our favorite. All right, you guys, tonight I made Mississippi roast. So I actually got the roast on sale. It was like half price. So super excited about that. I bought an extra one to put in the freezer. And I also made some green beans to go along with it. I get these at Costco. And then these are my freezer mashed potatoes. So dinner uh, came together really quick and easy tonight. All right, you guys, very simple dinner tonight. We're just having tacos. So I get the great value taco shells. I think they were like a buck. And then the ground beef I get at Costco. I think that's like 3.30 a pound. And then just some shredded cheese and lettuce. All right, you guys, tonight I'm making crock pot lasagna. And I thought I would just kind of show you guys real quick how I put, to get, put it together. So I have a pound of Italian sausage over here that I already cooked. And then I added two jars of just regular spaghetti sauce. I get the great value brand. And then the recipe calls for two cups of mozzarella cheese, but you only use um, one cup at first, you, you add the rest later. And then um, one cup of Parmesan cheese. I have this left over from a recipe that I made last week. And then an entire container of this ricotta cheese. So you basically just add all of this cheese or all of these cheeses together, and then you layer it with some just regular lasagna uh, noodles and a crock pot on low, which I'll go ahead and set that up. I'm gonna spray this down with some uh, cooking spray so I'm gonna start layering it up and I'll show you what it looks like okay so just getting the first layer going and all it is is the uh, sauce meat mixture at the bottom and then I just break apart some of the lasagna uh, noodles and just kind of try to cover it up as much as I can and then I add the cheese mixture which again is just the entire thing of ricotta one cup of mozzarella and then um, one cup of Parmesan cheese so I'm just gonna kind of layer this together, add a little bit more, and uh, keep keep layering it. All right guys, here it is all together. So this is just the easiest recipe, honestly, and it makes so much, and it's actually really cheap. I mean, the Italian sausage is like 2.50 a pound. I use two jars of spaghetti sauce. Those are 88 cents a jar, and then I use all great value brand uh, products, so everything is just really inexpensive. I think the mozzarella is like $1.76, a block and then the Parmesan is probably about the same price. I think the ricotta cheese is probably about the same. The uh, noodles, the lasagna noodles, I had to buy a name brand this time because my Walmart was out of the great value brand, but those boxes are usually like $1.17 and you only use half of it. So probably like maybe not even $8 worth of ingredients and it makes a huge portion and for us personally we can't eat all of this so we'll eat about half of it for our family of five and then I'll freeze the rest and make it for a different dinner so like a four dollar dinner plus I'll make like a side salad tonight with some um, garlic bread and it just makes such a yummy dinner and it's super super simple to put together so again I'm gonna put this lid on and let it cook and I'll show you what it looks like tonight okay so here's what it looks like all done it's kind of a big mess but it's super good so crock pot lasagna, and then I have some garlic bread. Um, I had some in the, in the freezer that I need to use up, and then we're just gonna have it with a little side salad. All right, you guys, tonight we're having hot dogs, so I also made some chili to go with it. Well, I just opened up a can of chili. So chili cheese dogs with some um, chips and some grapes. I'm gonna show you Matt's real quick. Oh, I forgot about the pickles. I'm gonna put some pickles on mine. He chopped up some pickles. So he has pickles and ketchup, and then two uh, chili cheese dogs. Oh, there we go. And yeah, and Connor is gonna, he's making his hot dog now. Okay, you guys, Sunday dessert is cheesecake with a brownie bottom crust and chocolate ganache on the top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. And I also didn't film dinner, it was burrito bowls. I totally forgot, honestly, but that's what we had for dinner. So tonight I made uh, beef enchiladas. It's a recipe I found on Pinterest. It's five ingredients. So it's just some cheese, some ground beef, enchilada sauce, and um, flour tortillas. 
So I know that's not technically enchiladas, but that's just what the recipe calls for, and that's what the recipe is called. So that's what I made tonight. And I believe I've made this before a long time ago, and it was pretty good. So hopefully uh, this is the same recipe. I can't remember though, but that's what we're having tonight. Very simple dinner tonight. Just some spaghetti with some ground beef that I get at Costco, and then the uh, noodles and the spaghetti sauce I get at Walmart, just the Great Value brand, and then the Kirkland Organic um mixed vegetables that i steam in the microwave and then some garlic bread that i get at walmart and it's a great value brand all right you guys tonight we're having philly cheesesteak sliders with some grapes we're trying to use these up this week and some chips all right you guys last meal for the week we're having crock pot macaroni and cheese with some ham and then some green beans on the side so thanks so much for watching y'all and i'll see you in the next video